Good morning, YouTube. I'm in downtown Dayton at this building at 111 West 1st Street by Ludlow Street. The reason I'm down here, this building looks like it is pretty close to 100% vacant. So I'm going to get a look at the inside of this place. And yet you have all these idiots telling us, well, how great downtown is. YMCA administrative offices. It's almost hard to believe that these few things that have signs on them, from the windows on the outside of the building, there is nobody in here. If I have to put the camera down, it'd be because of somebody, but I'm gonna keep going here. Yeah, these idiots that say all oh, how great downtown is for business and here you got a building like this that is almost a hundred percent vacant right here this right here they obviously got locked off because of the vacancies and so Here's another one right here that's, you can tell it's vacant. So, I'm not exactly sure what this building's called, but I showed the outside of this video and other videos before, but. When I've looked on the outside of this building, there's only like a few places that are few things on the top floor that look occupied and this right here is another floor that is vacant yet you still have these idiots that tell you all how great downtown is for business and all this other stupid fluff crap well and I think they're we're on the verge of seeing this building possibly get closed here very shortly because the occupancy rate in this building is very low here's floor five it's around 10:30. And hardly anybody, slice of law offices, whether that's open or not. Here's another office space that is vacant. So yeah, they can keep telling you how great downtown is, but that build that's obviously empty. Empty, 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 empty. Put the camera down for a second. All right, I had to put the camera now because I'm trying to be as low key as I can about this looks like there is somebody in 602 maybe but, but this building I believe is just for just a matter of time from this obviously is closed, nothing there. But I believe we're just a matter of time from this place being closed. Floor six.
This building's 11 stories high. Let's look at floor seven. See through, nothing here. Visa MasterCard, obviously. Yeah, this ain't looking good for downtown people. This looks like this, maybe some kind of doctor's office here. Yeah, this looks like this was a doctor's office, these two, but they've been closed for a long time because as one of my subscribers, Jeff, who lives in outside of Toledo mentioned you can get similar spaces in the suburbs for a third or a half of what you can down here. So if they're, if they're ever going to revitalize this, there has to be price discovery on what the properties are actually worth. Yeah, all this is vacant right here. I don't know the exact name of this building, but I'll, I'll name the, I'll try and name it at a later time, but I'm not too worried about it. This is even worse than the Kettering Tower that I filmed a few weeks ago or about a month ago. Cause this build is not gonna make it, people. I really believe it's just a matter of time. Here's this floor eight I just been on. Got a few more floors left and then I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna end this. Floor nine, there's only two more floors left. Yeah, you can see there's just nothing left here. And that sign should say it all because if there were tenants, they'd be listed right there. But there's not. So, unless they ever... Yeah, all this is empty. Unless they ever lower the taxes and lower the rents, there just is no hope for downtown Dayton in these buildings, and you can see why these buildings just in the downtowns of these big cities, why they just can't make it. Yeah, this ain't looking good. The only person I've seen up here was a lawyer a few floors ago, possibly. Going to Avalsa, so I kind of wonder how much his rent is in an empty building or why he would, you know, rent in this kind of dead zone. But this ain't looking good, people, at all. Ten fifty, that's closed. Yep, right there when you see that, that means there ain't nobody. Barry S. Galen, fifth floor suite 519. Take that for what it's worth, but this place is closed. All offices. Yeah, they can tell you all this fluff garbage about downtown that they want tell you all the lies and propaganda but this video right here along with the Kettering Tower speaks volumes yeah there ain't no buddy see this these floors are completely empty 
it, 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 to me, it's only just a matter of time before they shut this place down. Because there's just no way you can operate a building with this low of occupancy rate. There's just no way. And you can see why all Agnes's natural bar and grill walked away or the owners told him to walk away. Dayton Education Association. Whether or not there's any doors here or not for it, I don't know. But this place ain't gonna make it, people. The best solution is lower the rents and the taxes and have price discovery. And this place says office hours by appointment. I don't even think this place is even open anymore. And why would they be here in this dead building? Is beyond me. But yeah, this place ain't gonna make it, people. There's just no way a building can stay open with this you know, low of, with this kind of vacancies, there's just no way you can make it. And this looks like this is the roof of the building, can't get through there, but this place ain't gonna make it, people. Yep, this is the very top floor. But this place ain't gonna make it, people. There's just no way in reality this place can make it. There's just no way this place can make it. Yeah, this place is toast. There's just no way it can make it. In this kind of dead zone. Just walking down the, the stairs here. For some reason, there's like a men's room on almost every stairway in here, but I doubt it's being maintained or anything. This building's just not gonna make it. This is proof of why Forbes wrote that article Back in 2008, about Dayton being one of the fastest dying cities in the country. You watch this video, and you be the judge for yourself. I'm glad I stopped, because I've got some good footage that I was wanting to get. This place ain't gonna make it. There's no doubt in my mind this place will be completely shuttered in just a matter of time because I think this building's well over 90% vacant. You just can't make it with this kind of deadness. And the cost of maintaining these buildings is astronomical to begin with. What are you gonna, what's the city gonna do? Try it. Hopefully it can convert all this into 
housing and, and all that other stupidity. It ain't gonna happen here, people. You can just see the emptiness of this place is just quite disturbing. I'm gonna put the camera down as I'm going back out in the lobby, but or put the camera down. Entrance to the floor here. Hey, you know what the name of this building is called? This one? Yeah. The 111 building? 111 building. I tell you, by the looks of this building, this building will not make it much longer because I think it's 90% vacant. You think so? Oh yeah, almost, I just got done making a video through all the videos on the upper floors and almost everything in here is vacant. This building can't make it. And this all Agnes's natural bar and grow over here, I think they either were told to walk away or they just quietly walked away on their own because there's just no way you can make it with hardly anybody down here. I understand, I don't know. I don't but, know. But, but, but I frankly would not be surprised if this place ends up getting shut down here anytime because it just like almost there's only a few offices that are being used. See, no. see what I do is I make these videos to show people the reality of downtown Dayton versus the hype machine and the propaganda that what we hear in the media and down at City Hall is not reality. Right. You, you see all you me, see. You? I showed you a little bit, but don't worry, I'm harmless. Uh, you didn't give my permission. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. Yeah, I just got done filming the inside of this building. I guess it's called the 111 building. This building I do not think is going to make it for much longer because I think it's 90% vacant. You guys may not be doing work here for much longer. I don't know why because this place is just hardly anything's in here. It's like the rest of downtown. They tell us how great it is, but yet all you see is empty buildings. It's the reality. Yeah, I guess this building is just called the 111 building, but yeah, there's the outside of it <clears throat> right there, but all Agnes's natural bar and grill. I, I got a video of this a few days ago. As I said, I showed this area before, and as I said in the previous video, I believe they've been told, walk away, or that the owners told them that we're getting ready to shut this 111 building down because there's just no way to make it in this kind of dead zone. There's just no way this place is going to make it. This building just cannot make it in this You guys know what the what the what the vacancy rate percentage wise is of this building? This place just looks like it's almost ninety percent vacant. It just there's just but it it it, it looks what well, looks around seventy five percent. I just don't know how this there's so many businesses and that are shuttered. I just don't know how a how a place can even afford to operate a place when it's just this vacant. You know. I mean, I noticed this all Agnes natural bar and grill. They've been working on it for six months. I don't know if they backed out quietly or if the building owners told them, told them walk away because they're going to shut this place down. I don't know what the deal is, but it definitely. Uh, they're not going to shut it down. Uh, the, the fact that the restaurant's about ready to open should be open sometime this week, next week. Yeah, but, but that I have a hard time believing because it's been saying coming soon for the last six months, and that just seems. Well, Awfully fishy. With city for yeah. 
but normally most places can be open within six weeks but I don't know it just it just seems awfully fishy and and, and I just don't and I've seen so many buildings shuttered in downtown I just don't know how a place that's this empty can make it but if they lose a few more tenants they probably will end up shutting down because there's because the cost to operate these buildings has to be astronomical you know all right you too yeah this fifth third field is just a drive through branch Again, I showed this the other day, the back of the thing. There's just hardly anybody in this building anymore, and it's not going to make it. But anyway, that's it for this one from the 111 building in downtown Dayton. This, this, this is called the 111 building, right? Is that the 111? I didn't know if there was any other name for it, but... But that's it for this one.